In the ongoing war between Ukraine and Russia, Ukraine has been using American M777 155mm howitzers to destroy Russian attacking troops. In today's video, we'll look at what this M777 howitzer is and why it caused such a stir when it was delivered to Ukrainian troops. So without further ado, here we go! You may recall that Ukraine was recently promised American M777 towed howitzers. In battle, pledges are occasionally breached, but not in this case. Ukraine received 90 M777 howitzers from the United States. These components have already arrived on the battlefield, and Ukrainian soldiers have already launched a number of 155mm shells at Russian objectives. With brand new M777 howitzers given by the United States and the phrase from America with love, Ukrainian forces bombarded Russian targets. During a telephone discussion this night, the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, General Mark A. Milley, asked me what the win meant to us. General Valery Fedorovich Zaluzhny, 48, Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of Ukraine since July 2021, said on May 13th, This is, in fact, a critical issue. Victory for me is the destruction of the enemy on our country, as well as the liberation of all captured regions. A Twitter video is must-see television. It's a well-made, fast-paced commercial that depicts Ukrainian artillery crews at work. Some of them recently completed a crash course supervised by American trainers, and their studies are already paying off. The United States employed a train-the-trainer strategy. They invited 370 Ukrainian artillery officers and non-commissioned officers to Germany for a two-week seminar on the fundamentals of towed howitzer operations. Other workers taught how to keep the firearms in good working order. Ukrainians appear to have picked up on things quickly. In addition to the howitzers, Ukraine's armed forces also received 144,155mm rounds and 72 vehicles to transport the weapons. This is sufficient for five battalions. The supporters have conveyed their gratitude. The artillery pieces are welcome additions, according to Valery Zaluzhny, commander-in-chief of the Ukrainian armed forces. Our artillerists express their heartfelt gratitude to the American people for the M777 howitzers. My men are well aware of the cost of the artillery. First and foremost, they wanted to emphasize that this is a highly precise and effective weapon. We'll win together. Ten more M77s were provided to Ukraine by Australia and Canada. The cannons are lighter than prior generations of American towed howitzers since they are made of titanium. This makes airplane and vehicle transportation easier. It only takes six minutes to lay the gun after the towing vehicle has disengaged it, and then the crew may begin firing. Since 2008, the M777 has been used by the U.S. Marine Corps and Army as field artillery. The gun was used extensively against the Taliban in Iraq and Afghanistan, as well as ISIS subsequently. The howitzer uses a 155mm projectile with a range of roughly 100 yards and a weight of about 100 pounds, whereas Ukraine's Soviet-era guns use 152mm and 122mm projectiles with a shorter range and poorer accuracy than the M777. The range of its normal M795 high-explosive shell is 19 miles. Tanks and armored vehicles, as well as enemy trench emplacements, supply and ammunition depots, and command and control structures are all targets for this weapon. If Ukraine uses up the original batch of shells given by the Americans, NATO countries can resupply. Since the beginning of the war, Ukraine has wanted heavy artillery. The Ukrainians also want M109 Paladin self-propelled howitzers from the United States, although they are unlikely to acquire them. The UK, France, the Netherlands, Belgium, and Italy are all sending self-propelled artillery to Ukraine. As the conflict in Ukraine becomes more of an artillery duel between Russia and Ukraine, the defenders will have to concentrate more on counter-battery fire. Another NATO member has stepped up to the plate in this situation. Germany is to supply counter-battery radar to Ukraine to assist in the destruction of Russian artillery. According to the German military, the Cobra system they will deliver can spot 40 enemy artillery sites, mortars, and rocket launchers at a range of 62 miles. These artillery systems will be put to excellent use by the Ukrainians. They will assist the defenders in pinpointing the adversary. Additional individuals can attend an impromptu artillery school in Germany and apply what they learn to further equip Ukrainian field artillery soldiers. This significant development could help Ukraine win the howitzer conflict. American Howitzers Making a Difference after contributing 90 M777 155mm howitzers and hundreds of thousands of 155mm artillery shells to Ukraine, the U.S. military has become the single largest donor of artillery guns. The weapon systems have improved Ukraine's long-range firefighting capabilities, allowing commanders to strike targets far beyond enemy lines. Last week, as the Russian military attempted to ford the Severodonetsk River many times, the Ukrainian military responded with barrage after barrage of lethal fire 
destroying about 80 tanks, armored personnel carriers, and infantry fighting vehicles. We feel the howitzers are having an effect, especially in Kharkiv. Is that really the only reason? I don't think we'd go that far, but we do feel that the systems they're getting, not just U.S. systems, but systems from other countries, are absolutely helping them regain some momentum and reclaim some territory, a senior U.S. official said at a Pentagon news briefing. The Ukrainian military has made excellent use of its recently acquired artillery. According to the Ukrainian general staff, an artillery barrage against the Russian 810th Marine Brigade's field headquarters on last Wednesday killed three and wounded 14 Russian officers, including the brigade commander, acting brigade chief signals officer, two battalion commanders, and one artillery commander. However, both teams have suffered defeats. A tactical unmanned aircraft system dropped a munition on top of a Ukrainian M777 155mm howitzer, according to a video released by the Russian military. This isn't to argue that both sides aren't losing. They are in terms of both forces and equipment and weapon systems. It's a true combat in the Donbass, literally, with artillery being exchanged every single day and the Russians continuing to fly airstrikes, the senior U.S. defense official added. Other artillery to Ukraine A senior Defense Department official said three days ago at a Pentagon news conference that the U.S. provided 155mm M77 towed howitzers, as well as other kinds supplied by allies and partners to Ukraine, are having a significant impact on the battlefield. However, the United States military isn't the only one supplying artillery to Ukraine. Long-range firing systems have been requested and obtained by the Ukrainian military from various NATO countries, including France, Canada, Belgium, the Netherlands, and the United Kingdom. The Pentagon has committed 90 M777 150mm howitzers to Ukraine, while Canada and Australia are deploying dozens more of the same type of artillery. The UK has also committed 12 AS-90 150mm armored self-propelled artillery pieces, while the French military will supply 12 Caesar 155mm trucked self-propelled howitzers to their Ukrainian counterparts. Three additional NATO countries are supplying Ukraine with self-propelled howitzers. PZH-2000 SP 155mm self-propelled howitzers, or M109 Paladins, are being sent to Ukraine by Italy, Belgium, and the Netherlands. The UK has also committed 12 AS-90 150mm armored self-propelled artillery pieces, while the French military will supply 12 Caesar 155mm trucked self-propelled howitzers to their Ukrainian counterparts. Three additional NATO countries are supplying Ukraine with self-propelled howitzers. PZH-2000 SP 155mm self-propelled howitzers, or M109 Paladins, are being sent to Ukraine by Italy, Belgium, and the Netherlands. This concludes the video for today. What are your thoughts on the M777 howitzer and the ongoing conflict? Tell us in the comments area below and hit the like button while you're at it. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to see more, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. We'll see you in the next one.